Oh, hi there. My name is Ellie Pinzeroni, and today I'm going to be sharing with you four amazing tips specifically for creative minds to get an A plus when you're writing about art. For me, whenever I've been writing about art, um, I never just sit down and it just magically comes out perfect, introduction, content, and conclusion. For me, writing about any subject matter is more like putting together a puzzle. And so that's kind of the mindset I want you to have whenever you're approaching uh, a writing project. The painting we'll be using today for this exercise is Vermeer's A Lady Writing from circa 1665, courtesy of the National Gallery of Art in Washington. Step one, make a mini mind map. Now, this is kind of like making a little chart. You're going to make a little drawing, a little copy of the painting. This is going to make you see the shapes more clearly. And then around the drawing, I want you to make little offshoots where you're considering the description, the general observations when you're looking at this piece. So not what you think, but what you see. Okay, so not she's ugly looking or she's beautiful. I want you to just describe girl sitting, three quarters view. Where's the light source? Um, what's the contrast like? Where's the setting? So things to keep in mind are the elements of art, which if you don't know, are line, color, light, shape, figures, space, surface plane, and texture. So consider all of that. Okay, so uh, interior, domestic space, right? Realistic, uh, attention to details. Look at the textures in her, the ribbons on her hair and the pearls in her earrings and the feather on her quill and her fur robe. There's the luminosity of the skin. Um, none of this has to be in complete sentences, just little thoughts. There's warm yellows, deep turquoises, uh, high contrast of light and dark. The background is very neutral. Um, we've got a, a slight smile from the sitter. She's looking directly at us. So just keep brainstorming all around there until you run out of things to think about. Step two is the nutshell. Uh, based on your observations, if you had to describe it in a nutshell, what is being represented? Another prompt might be, what does it remind you of? Well, to me, when I look at this, immediately I think of royalty. That robe, there's something about that, that black and white, um, I don't know what kind of animal it is, but that robe reminds me of royalty, um, also reminds me of youthfulness, she also looks angelic, so those are some thoughts that come to mind. Um, but in a nutshell, I would say it's a, a, a three-quarters view of a woman in a domestic space that is writing a letter. Step three is to evaluate. Is the work effective? Now, whatever you say here should be based on what you see visually. So, what has the artist done well? What really stands out to you? Uh, what do you think really the artist has achieved in this painting? Now, if I was going to say what I think that the artist has achieved, I would say Vermeer's painting effectively pulls the viewer into the center of a private moment with extraordinarily realistic details. We pause at the work center and we engage directly with this lady who possesses a kind of ethereal luminosity. Your fourth step is simply just to organize all of this brainstorming into paragraph format. Just to make sure your first sentence is a great introduction and kind of a pow, and that your conclusion is another pow. And those are my guidelines. So go out there and get an A plus on your next art paper. Woohoo! Thanks for joining me. Bye bye. <laughs>